Hello McWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the King Crab because on my last stream there was a high demand for King Crab gameplay and therefore we are going to take the King Crab 000B out for a spin today. And by the way if you're wondering why my arms have eyes because it looks like little like T-Rexes here like like these are the teeth and this is the eye. I, I really like that. So uh, what are we doing with this guy today? This variant here has four ballistic hard points and we're gonna use all of them and we're just gonna put some ultra auto cannon fives in them. We can shoot all of these weapons together dealing 20 damage pinpoint ish because of weapon convergence that's a completely uh, different issue though and our king crab also has some quirks for those. So we have a ballistic cooldown quirk of 10%, we have a heat quirk of 10% that is really good, we have a jam chance reduction of 30% and then a regular cooldown quirk which is a total of 15% cooldown for our auto cannon fives and then there's also ballistic velocity. Now the king crab has one problem and that is as I was saying the big big white body. Um, the weapon convergence is absolutely horrible um, that means if you really want to fire at a thing you have to have both of your arms somewhere out of cover so that you can then shoot them right in front of you uh, having those weapons torso mounted would be obviously better so if you want to play something like this but better take a fafnir take a fafnir put those auto cannons into the torso have an ecm on top of that it's just better but hey we are here with the king crab today again the quirks are helping a little bit just a little disclaimer it's definitely not optimal but um it's fun absolutely fun you can do things with this thing and you will especially see in, in the second game where we are blasting some enemies apart now let's take a look at the skills before we get into this we have cooldown heat gen and velocity quirk as our main concern here for the autocannon magazine capacity to keep us going and we have the rack unjam time uh, bonus of 15 percent these range nodes were just some leftovers i put them in here because sometimes it's nice to have a bit of an extended range we're shooting at about 600 meters optimal range with our autocannons so that's really good um, and having a little bit of a bump here kind of helps. I want maximum skeletal density and armor hardening for the obvious reasons. We are a big wide mech. We are easy to take apart. We are easy to, to take down. So having extra hit points helps us staying on the battlefield a little longer. And then I went for maximum cooling actually because those auto cannons they generate quite a good chunk of heat if you fire them in a constant way. Got hill climb for verticality, bit of radar deprivation to break locks quicker. And then we are running double cool trail plus double artillery today. Uh, cool shot again just in case sometimes uh, there are some heated fights where you actually have to push that button and uh, keep going and the artillery to do some area denial or maybe deal some damage to the enemies when they are unaware quick side note here before we get into the games the first game you will see me running a 350 rated engine this here is the build for the second game where i was like yeah i probably need a bit more ammo so this here is what you see in the first game and this here is what you see in the second game. So very minor, minor change here in terms of speed, but we certainly have more longevity with the same amount of heat sinks running a 345 rated engine. And yes, by the way, I am um, not maxing out the armor on the arms, although I usually say the arms where the weapons are in are to be protected at all costs, but it's a king crab, guys. When you see a king crab, you go for this area and hit center torso. This is a massive CT hitbox here. You don't bother with shooting the arms. Also, they are sticking out so much that people tend to go for side torso instead. So we can drop the arm armor a little bit and save some extra tarnish to put more stuff in it. I am very comfortable with about 70 armor on the arms, and we even have 82 here. So it's gonna be... All right, that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, guys, first game of the day. We are playing the Vitrix Station. We are taking top side because it's easier to fall down than to get up in the mid game. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, just take a look at what we can do here. However, I want to take the right side here because the Charlie 3 area probably will be hot. Charlie 3, Charlie 4 filled with enemies. So we're gonna go over here. We got a Warhammer as well. That's really nice. And we also got the Phoenix Hawk and we are looking for trouble in about 600 meters. And here they are already. I believe we hit him, but it didn't. we didn't get an indicator here. So we were most likely out of range actually out of our maximum range even got an axum there this is like his perfect spot to be in 
Uh, he can dump some serious damage. Uh, so acquired. I don't think we're gonna contest him that hard, question mark. Look at the bullets already flying. Yeah, man, I wanna keep my arms, that's the thing. Warhammer, what are you looking at? I don't know, but again, I wanna stay here for a while and listen until the battlefield has tightened a little bit. Stormcrow, Lacerator. You wanna push that? Oh, uh, buddy, careful. Are we, are we committing? Are we committed to this? Uh, it seems like it. All right, let's push up. Let's go. He's alone. He's alone. Oh, we are taking a lot of damage, so... Ha! Fall back for a second. Let the skirmishers move and attract fire and dodge it, rather than me attracting it and taking it. You know what I mean? There's a guy. Blah, 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 blah. These are kind of snipey dudes. That's a night here, right? Yeah, uh, and yeah, they have some. They have the axum there on the left side. Gotcha, gotcha. 900 meters is very much suboptimal, but we can deal some damage to him. Is he gonna go? He's gonna stay. I'm gonna close in on this guy. So yeah, take my arm. Um, I want to get that axum. You with me, guys? All right, I'm pushing Delta Five now. Get the Axum, guys. Come on. Come on. Nobody is following me. Actually, they are, but they are hiding behind me. Oh, what are you? I am in trouble. I am in big trouble. <laughs> that is just true. We got some people completely focused down on my mech, which is not great for my life. All right, we can take Timby. And we did, and now the Axum. Let's go. Let's kill that Stone Rhino. Get the side torso at the very least. Oh, we did not get the side torso at the very least. I think this is the time where we drop. Uh, blur. Uh, there's a guy right next to me. There's a guy right here. So we gotta be careful. Who is that? Viper. Actually? Oh, the dire wolf is up top. That was a dire wolf. We didn't get the axum, but we might get it now. Great. So, turn around. Who's, who's hitting me? <gasps> There's a guy. Annihilator. At, um, Atlas, please take it. I guess. Oh boy, my center torso is not in a good shape anymore. We have 170 shots left. Maybe I need to change something with my ammo count. That is not a lot of shots, man. All right, let's go, Any? Don't, don't take the king crap. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm afraid of him. Uh, but yeah, Atlas is pushing in. So there is that. We got him. 155 and the fight is not even over. It's not even close to being over. Uh, okay, so we're gonna use the Atlas as our battle buddy, huh? Direwolf still up top, but we are getting... Uh, getting dominance there. Mm. They are... Whoa, what hit me? What hit me? Holy crap. Oh, here? There is the guy! That was a sneaky king crab coming in! Alrighty. Alrighty then. I was not aware of that king crab. It was a brawling king crab, right? AC20 SRMs. <laughs> Nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. Out of nowhere. Light PPC, MRM, double AC20. I like that idea, man. I really do. It's just a, hello, mister. You're dead now, build. Cool. LB10 on the Phoenix Arc. Stay on him. Yes. All right. Can we get him? I mean, surely we can. But this King Crab is holding out for himself here. Atlas brawling with him. Let me actually go for the Atlas if I can. Let me take a look here. Uh, can we... Uh, come on. Give me my Atlas. Atlas still alive. He's trying his best to avoid the fire, but he is going down. King Crab taking another casualty here. But... Oh, he's running XL. He is running XL to cram all of these weapons into the mech. Insane. Jenna is lagged now, and then we got one more enemy on the battlefield. And I believe it's kind of fighting in the center as well. Yeah, there he is. There is a guy in Delta 4. 
and we got him in the end. That was, I was wondering, the Dire Wolf with the Auto Cannon 5 setup, I took a bunch of hits and I was like, yeah, okay, that's some AC2 bullet spitting, but no, it was the AC5s that messed up my center torso so much. Guys, we dealt about 700 damage, we took 700, we got a kill here, and even a kill most damage dealt. I am pretty happy with what we have, and that was the first round, so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys, second game of the day, we are playing the Viridian Bog, we are playing Domination, and I don't know, maybe I should go to the high ground, we have those weird, weird, weird arms. By the way, can I, do I have this? Yeah, I can... I can open them up. Sorry for the hiccup, I just drank a thing. Uh, so I can open them up, so we have the little T-Rexes actually looking like them. Yeah, um, and that's what we're gonna do, and I would say we're gonna go just to the high ground. Delta 6, Delta 5, this is where I wanna be. And um, yeah, we're gonna hopefully have some teammates around us, because if somebody sees a King Crab, they usually go for a King Crab. I should also play the Onyx more because that thing is so fun. I love the big combat shield. By the way, if you haven't gotten the, the node yet, if you didn't get the memo yet, uh, there is another mech with a combat shield coming out, and it's gonna be a Black Knight. The Red Reaper is coming out in February. So I am very excited about that thing. I could also go low ground Echo 5. Delta 5 into Echo 5. Uh, I think this is a good idea, actually. With some teammates around, like this where our little urban mech is going. I'm pushing Echo 5 low. I'm gonna bring my king crab boys. Let's go. Um, yeah. I mean, we got some people here. Hello. Wanna push through, buddy? I don't think so. I also should not push too hard into this area. I know we have the medium mech next to us, but there wasn't a soul somewhere. I need. Are you ready? I don't have it. Mm -hmm. Found him. Found him. Found him. Found him. He's right here. He's right here. Um, I think I can overpower him. That was good. To the other side, please. Hey, leave my left side alone. Thank you, friends. Thank you. So, um, can we get a UAV in Echo 5? Also, my, uh, my, my poor, poor shoulder. <laughs> it's already it's so borking. The light mech is scouting for us. That's really nice. Check the high ground, by the way. I believe enemies are in Echo 6 now. Oh, they are here. There they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, shall we go around or turn around? One of them got one of ours now. Yeah, man. I really don't feel like staying in a firing line because my mech is already so damaged and I need um, to not get into that choke point. So I could be on the front in a choke point, which is my death, or I could be in the back in the choke point, which means that I cannot fire my weapons because my, my friends are in the way. So let's get the high ground here. I think this is just better. Ah, uh, no, we're gonna go Echo 5 high. That's it. We're not rotating. Okay. So, I don't want to be on the front. What are we doing here? Ah, this is not working. Like, too many people in one spot. Too many people in one spot. There's two UAVs. Okay, we got that thing. Um, Sorry, buddies, but we... I, I gotta do it. This is not a position where I want to be in a firing line. Not on the front, not in the back. I want to be a little bit outside of the fight in the position that my mech is in right now, in the state that it is in right now. If the medium mechs would actually not block all the time, it would be really nice, you know? We got one hit in. All right, let's get the Black Knight then. It's a mad cat. Yeah, 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 and then that. Okay, okay. It's really hard to, to find my spot here. Everybody is stepping on each other's toes. It hurts. It hurts. Come on, guys. And now you're going back, and now we're going. Uh, what's the plan? What's the plan? Cannot read the team here. There we go. Okay, that's great. Now we have a spot to fight in. Why is he not dying, man? Oh, wait. Oh. That Locus needs to go. I should probably stay on the easier to hit max though. Wait, if the Raven is pushing out, that means that they are making a push. Yeah, it's totally happening. All right, we gotta fall back then. Is that team damage? I don't know. Is the Black Knight killable? I don't know. We have enemies in our backs as well. And here comes the Light Mech once more. We are pinned, like completely pinned as a team. And that is a problem. Okay, okay, okay. We have the high ground situation once more, which is fantastic for us. It's actually what I wanted, like, the whole game. And I really feel like these enemies are totally killable. Half of them are very, very damaged. 
Okay, we're gonna make the drop on them. There's a light mech behind us. Yeah, all right. We turn around, we take care of the locust. And then I would say I'm gonna... <sighs> He's not coming out to play. Oh, there's a stealth raven. Good to know. So much for taking care of the locust. Stealth raven is a problem. Oh, they have us cornered now. They totally have us cornered. Here comes the guy. He's right above me. Okay. I need to turn around again. I know that there's a fight happening on the other side. Ah! Decisions! Gotta make them now. Getting up there is dumb. Why are you doing it? Like, guys, stay low! You're exposing yourself to all the fire from the from the other side. We gotta deal with the light mix first. And then maybe if we survive, we can make something happen. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna go around the other side. And now I'm getting shot in the back. Okay, so the raven is here or whatever. Yeah, I know. Uh, we have still a little bit of time on the countdown. It's a shadow cat with lasers. Yeah, I'm the last guy. All right. I drop party here. Okay, that might kill him. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, maybe we are making our stand here. Okay. You overheated. Is that a kill? Meep, meep, buddy. Meep, meep. And now we're gonna die. Okay. Come again. Nah, it's not happening. It's just not happening. I mean, I survived, but... I really feel like my teammates did the wrong thing by going up while we were under pressure because again everybody up there was just waiting to pound into them so it's okay though i mean we lost the game but that's perfectly fine because i feel like i dealt good damage here and we also soaked some good damage we got 4 kmdds out of that it escalated pretty hard early on but then we couldn't bring it to the end anyways guys that has been it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you next time goodbye